Hello, welcome to the Flying Busters channel, everyone. I hope you had a wonderful winter break, but now that it's over, it's time to head back to work and suffer for the next few months until Easter. So today in this commentary, we are on the map Outpost, and um, I got the silenced MP7. Um, uh, my sidearm is an MP9. I think it's suppressed. I'm not sure. I got a throwing knife and an EMP grenade. And I, for my strike package, I have the support strike package with UAV, advanced UAV, and uh, stealth bomber. So if you if you want a good uh, support setup, I would recommend this, just because it's the one that I use all the time. Now this setup works especially well in objective game types because uh, the UAV will let you know exactly where they're sitting and the stealth bomber can be used to get people out of their defensive positions slash uh, camping. So use it especially in domination or demolition game modes. Uh, anyway, what I wanted to talk about in this video was uh, our, our new year, what we did over the Christmas break or the new year. Uh, little holiday so what we did on New Year's Eve we went to my great aunt's house and so we had family there they came there from Europe and we were, we were hanging out but before uh, midnight hit or instead of watch of watching on TV like we usually do the ball in, in uh, Times Square drop which of course happened three hours before because we're, we're in uh, Los Angeles but um point is we didn't stay it was about 11 22 when everyone started leaving the party because they wanted to go to a to a restaurant and to watch it and so because our parents me and my parents we weren't interested in that type of restaurant we went t decided to go home and so it turned 12 a.m. midnight when we were on the road home unfortunately so we didn't get to see the ball drop but oh well there was live performances by uh, various music groups and we watched those for a bit, and I got on and played COD <laughs> for the new year. So, um, I'm sorry I couldn't get this video, this video up as soon as I wanted to. It was just right after the new year when I planned to post this. I, I got slammed with homework, and so, you know, and then, um, it's like, Things just came up and it like delayed after delay after delay until finally I was able to post this. Um, so a quick update on the Flying Busters channel is that recently we hit 200 subscribers. An epic milestone of epic proportions. I say thank you guys for your continued support and um, for subscribing to us. Hopefully in the in the new year or in this year you'll be able to we'll be able to post more stuff and um hopefully that new content that we post will be appealing to you guys um in this video i just wanted to say we've been i've tweaked the, the color please let me know how that turned out because honestly when it's editing i can't really tell how it really looks until after it goes up onto youtube and i haven't tried this specific uh, color correction out in a quality test so please let me know how it turned out uh, honestly I'm not sure if it's gonna be a little bit too yellow but that shouldn't be a problem anyway uh, Mythbusters uh, Modern Warfare 3 Mythbusters is due for another return be because John the Gypsy has uh, officially convinced me to to start making more so look for that um, we're gonna have to find some new myths hopefully with the new map pack coming out on the 24th we'll be able to think up of some some things to post uh, so just stay tuned and we'll try to get those out however the style would be changed a little bit what I mean by that is that we'll use different fonts so not to copy the style of defend the house and so that is our quick little update on the flying bus and I'm going right here, turn the corner, and I get shot from the back. I probably shouldn't have gone after that guy, but oh well. Gotta take chances. Um, 
also what I what I want to say is a, a little side note is uh, um, wh what I've been planning to do is because over the Christmas break I got Uncharted 3 I've been planning to do uh, maybe an Uncharted 3 walkthrough on crushing maybe do some of the co-op missions on crushing the hardest difficulty and I might also do some of the treasures and so look me to that uh, let me know what you think of on that if I should do a series on that because I've been really wanting to but I'm not sure if that's uh, what you guys want to see so just please uh, let me know in the comments if that would be something that you guys would be interested in if not then I could always bring another game of COD for you guys so don't worry and also I've been looking for the Starhawk beta so I might be posting some of that too and s and so for our next hot topic, we'd like to talk about the Modern Warfare 3 um, map packs that are coming out. So, how this is going to work is if you are an Elite Premium member slash founder, they're going to have these things called content drops, right? And the first one of these content drops is going to happen on January 24th. One map is named Piazza, and the other one is based in Central Park, New York City. And, um, I think they're going to release more. See, I don't know how I survived that, the rocket launcher should have killed me but I guess he aimed a little bit too low anyway so um, it's two maps instead of the regular four maps um, and it, they're going to be released in uh, certain intervals I know the first will be on the 24th I'm not sure when the next one will be after that but they'll they'll only be available to like the those who have elite premium accounts on the Xbox and the reason for this is because uh, I think Microsoft paid uh, Activision so that's why they could have their map packs earlier or something something or rather and so look for that on the 24th if you're on the Xbox and you're a premium elite member uh, look for the new content dropped it'll prompt you if you want to download you just hit download and you have the new two maps and then I think maybe they'll release for the general public is in the middle of March so make sure to look out for those remember again the two maps will be uh, Piazza and in Central Park. The final kill cam is a throwing knife to a final stand, Gypsy. Now watch the kill cam, you'll see the throwing knife hit him in the back. Now what I don't like about these kill cams is that they, is, they go up after the throwing knife actually hits him. So that's one of my pet peeves about the kill cams. However, I decided to provide mine of my own. And it's, as you can clearly see, it hits him in the back of the head. Y youch, That's gotta hurt. And guess what? That's not all. We have a bonus clip. Uh, just for you, gypsies, with the throwing knife, I call it the Avenger. And you will see why very shortly. So we're here on mission. I'm just running up the hill like I usually do when I see a, I see a guy in the distance. Throw a throwing knife and I get killed at this very same time. This guy's probably like, oh, here's a gypsy. I'm going to pull out my MP9 and shoot him. And oh, to the top of the head. Youch. Anyway... Uh, let's just fast forward up a little bit, but these lives were consecutive, so don't worry about that. Uh, so it goes here, and oh, we both get killed at the very same time. So how often does that happen? Two consecutive lives, both, I get him with a throwing knife, and, and we, I die at the same time. So here you can see it hits him at the top of the head. Yikes. Oh, well, sorry for your math degree. <laughs> anyway, uh, and here, if you look really closely, you can see his noob tube uh, bounce off of my chest. And uh, it's falling toward the ground right now. So if you guys enjoyed this, please leave a comment, uh, like the video, and just stay tuned for more Modern Warfare 3 Insanity.